Come on! Wait. Yeah, we're not gonna beat him there. Maybe if I like... Okay, I have 20k back here. We have a couple of our friends moving in. Um... Alright, maybe if I move my 9k over there, and since it'll have a leader... Oh, my leader died. Okay, recruit a general. Frederick August Lempunt. He's a much better general than my last one was, except he doesn't have any like the, doesn't have any experience with cannons. That's okay though. He's much better in almost every other aspect, so I can't accept his flaws. So let's see. Maybe if I move my troops in right there, cause thank you, thank you for moving out. This is my siege. You guys don't get to do it. Okay. All I want you guys to do is make sure that Normandy doesn't destroy my land. Okay, they're moving in their own army. Hopefully they're using it to go crush these guys. Um, right now I'm using this army to make sure I gain all this. Because what I want from this war is I want basically North Zealand, Middle Zealand, Skelane, Blanklings. And if I can, some land from... Seems like we're slightly dying in terms... Oh my goodness, what happened to you, Teutonic Order? Whoops, I think I, that may have been my fault. That may have been my fault. Yeah. Can you please, please go kill... You guys moving to Skelane? You're moving to Halland. Good. Okay, good. A revolt, of course. I knew it! I knew these guys were going to do that. I knew that was going to happen. I just knew it that that was going to happen. Okay. Well, I'm going to build a constable right here. Okay. Um, hopefully these guys will completely crush the Denmark army right here, because I basically have this, we're going to watch and see how they're doing, yeah, they're going to crush Denmark's army right there, they're crushing the, the, the morale is basically falling because I have most of everything blocked up for them, so, there we go, they're coming back to my place, that's going to be lovely to see, because they're just going to stand right on top of me, oh no, they're going right there. I blocked them off so they should they have no morale anymore. They're heading either straight for me or they're heading towards the Hilland. They're heading to Hilland. I could try to go fight them. It wouldn't be that hard. Should I try though? As soon as one of my sieges is done, I'll do it. Well actually I could probably get this siege and go send these guys to go attack because that siege isn't really that important and right now we're just trying to hammer these guys as much as possible BOOM! yeah and our general, our fearless general took charge of that and now we can move in some more men down here boundary dispute games claims on orange, I actually don't want but once I'm losing a stability because I don't want I don't want to fight Muscovy yet. I need to wait until I'm united as Scandinavia. I need to I need to deal with internal problems first, and then I can deal with ex external. Um, but move men, conquer the capital of Denmark. Oh, we still have the capital of Denmark. Because now we actually have a chance to go take down the capital of Denmark. This is the first time we have ever done this, people. Like seriously, the first time we have ever like legitimately captured captured the capital of Denmark. I mean, other times, other times were just, just us toying around. Now this is the actual conquering of Denmark. We are proving to Denmark that they are no longer the dominant power. These guys are now moving back to make sure my land doesn't get conquered. Good job for you. Um, Teutonic Order is dealing with a lot of rebels. I feel sorry for them. Um, Denmark is never, ever, ever going to be able to conquer back any of this once I get it all. North Zealand, all this, uh, I'm just going to take all of it. Soon I'll have a corn, everything, and we're going to be swimming pretty, people. I mean, we are going to be, like, extrovertly good. Let me build some more stuff. Um, marketplace, let's build a marketplace right here, and, hmm, 
This one doesn't seem to be getting attacked, so let's build it right there. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, okay. Let's go back. Almost done with Skalane, the province that we have been spending like... I would say we spent like 45 years trying to conquer Skalane. A long, long, long time to conquer this one province. Mm. And I'm probably guessing it's probably going to take us one more war to gain what we need to from Denmark. But it'll be worth it. Once we gain the last piece of Denmark we need, it'll be all worth it. I'm hoping that some of these guys... Yeah, Den Norway, D Norway is just basically getting destroyed. Uh, let's see, that hostile siege I just can't really deal with. Askmus, I'm hoping that that coin will finish before the other evil guys come in and go kill it. Uh, probably could go send an army to go help them out. But right now I really just want to get all of this done with. This is so, like, once we conquer all this, I'll probably go send some people to go deal with the rebellions. Teutonic Order, you guys are getting tore up by rebellions. That is sad. I actually don't have anything I'm doing this time. Siege is over. Okay, you guys. I don't actually need you guys. You guys go back over here. We're going to go take down those rebels. Okay, I'm keeping an army over there too to make sure it doesn't get too out of control. Because once you have rebels start spawning, it becomes a pain in the butt to deal with. Okay. So let's see. Let's get this. So is these like three different provinces? Yes, they are. That's good to note. So I need to like... When I move up, I need to, like, split this army into two and move right there and move right there. Okay. That siege is almost done. The siege of Lipland. Yeah, well, I have lots... Yeah, that, that siege is not going to work. I can only tell you that. Reduce trade investment. Uh, why not? Yeah. That siege is not going to work. Trust me about that. I have friends moving in. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to... I won't be able to get there before they finish that, but I should be able to kill them before they do that. But right, basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that this is core. That's gonna be core no matter what. Skalane is almost done falling. Took me seven years to get this province. Oh no, seventy four. No, I started this game in 1444, so about 35 years. 35 years of not owning this province, and I'm finally gonna own this province. Oi! And basically, yeah, we have destroyed Normandy. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's that that's that, that that's gonna be like the new word of today. No the new the new like I said, that's the new Algeria everyone. Or Argentina. Oh my goodness. Over here you guys are basically falling. We're falling. Okay. Let's do this. Kill these guys. Kill them with our advanced men. Cause you know what? I don't want any more rebellions in my land. Cause having these guys in our tax revenue will help us a lot. Mhm. Mm Kill them! Kill them all! Oh shoot! Yeah, die! 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 Yes! Kill them! Okay. Go kill them. You guys can do it. I believe in you. I believe. I believe. I think. Kill them! Kill them! Stop dying yourselves! Kill them! Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait like a couple seconds because these guys are pretty much like dying at the same time and also killing them. Okay, you guys are done with the conquest of Skalane. I'm gonna move down a little bit. Oh, and I just finished the siege of Zealand. So I'm gonna move down these guys. These guys are going to move over there. That way we have a good two prolonged front. Ha! Hey, you guys aren't getting a gap inside my militaristic style this time. Denmark, you guys are getting completely owned right now. Just completely owned. Alright. Get back to this province over here. Alright. Four. Where are the rebels? They kind of moved. That's not a good sign. Alright. I'm kind of making native money right now. Should start making positive after a little bit. Okay. What I'm going to do is kind of divide these guys into a good size army. I'm going to put these guys on the actual province. 
so that we have a good blockade. And let's see, how can, can you guys, no, you guys cannot. So if I just keep these guys here, the next turn, I'll have these guys conquer these two provinces right there. From there, I'll just, then I'll get my massive cores of just these four provinces. This one, this one, that one, and that one. And that way I have a good control, and I should actually gain a good imperial control over the Lumbeck province, because then I have a lot of the Lumbeck control. Right now, our, our current control over this is not that great. In fact, we don't even state it here. Sweden, 3%. We'll basically, but basically we'll gain the control of Denmark, which is 18%, and Norway Day, no Normandy, which is... I think Normandy's right there. I, I actually don't see. Well, I'll get 18%, which is added to this, which means I'll have a good share of this country's provinces, which is good. Over here, uh, Muscovy took care of the rebels. Thank you, Muscovy. You guys are awesome. And I'm about to get my core on Asterix. Oh, I can't even pronounce that. That's, that's just way too Russian. Okay, just got the core. How are we doing in converting, converting, still have lots of, still need lots of converts. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. We're gonna need this for a long, 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 long time. Okay, over here though, we're almost done with one siege. This island's almost done. I'll move this island all the way over here to Midland, and then Northern Jilin, and then we're basically just done. Um, Normandy, Norway I'm hoping will never recover. After this point, after we siege down everything, I'm hoping that they'll never recover from this, so we can just go in and go kill them later. Okay. We almost got 100% in almost all the provinces. Oh, man. This must stink. I, I would so, this would stink for me if I was this country right now. Denmark. Like, there's not really much I could do about this entire situation. Oh. Well, I'll go deal with that in a second. Yeah, my friends are already dealing with it. What am I talking about? My friends are already dealing with the situation over there. Oh my goodness, Norway Day. Norway is almost completely conquered. I'm kind of worried, though. I have to quickly go get Northern Upperland before my friends start conquesting this. Die already! The worlds have fallen. You guys have lost. Now please die. Like, seriously, give up. You have 56% chance of surrender. Give up. Give up. Give up, it's the best solution. And then the siege of Lawland is over, the siege of Konzuri is over. Okay, so we got that done with. We're gonna move up to Middleland. Middleland, and then they should not be able to move through it. And then this siege I have to quickly finish up before all my friends start coming down here and destroying Denmark. Keeping this army over here because we need a good sized army to make sure we don't have any more rebellion problems. And we're still converting that one province, which is taking extremely slow amounts of time. Wow. Probably should have looked at how long that was going to take, but I wasn't really concerned with that. I just want to convert my land. Okay, over here, Sleswig. Oh my goodness. This is, this, this, Denmark, man, you, you are getting destroyed right now. Just, just oh my goodness, Norway. Norway, hey, Norway is even worse. That's, that's scary. Like, Norway is almost, it's completely occupied. Th there is absolutely no Norway in the world anymore. They are dead. Gone. Capiche. Capush. They are gone. Wow. That that's just flat out scary. You have a free advisor slot. I have a diplo. Uh we could get diplomatic reputation, global trade power. I, I really don't care. None of these really sound particularly appealing. And this guy's the cheapest. So he'll go. He'll do. Okay. And national decisions available past the looker act. Stability modifier national. Yeah, so. Why not? That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> okay, and new rebels. This is why I have rebel this is why I have an army right here dealing with all this stupid rebel stupidness. Sledswig, the Sledswig control is now over. That means once one of these finish in the back, I'll go send both these armies to go kill the rest of the Denmark army. And then we're basically done. Because now the war is basically in completely 100% our favor. Because there's nothing else they own. Well, they do own this little tiny province right over here. But that shouldn't be much difficult to deal with. Let's kill off them. Kill these guys off. Good. Good. Go back to Kumbing and start waiting there. 
So yeah, these guys are giving me side bait attacks. These guys are giving me no attacks. Let's start coining this sucker. Yeah, let's start coining it. So we need to start coining that. And yeah, all right. Oh my goodness, this has been this has been just an excellent episode, guys. We're basically conquering what we need to. No way. The only part of Norway that we have not conquered is over here and over there. That's only because we don't really care about those parts. Those parts are kind of unimportant. Well, at least normally. I'm gonna... That's that's basically... If you guys haven't figured it out, that's basically how I'm gonna get to the New World. It's by island hopping from here to there, to there, to there. And the merchants worry about a lack of protection. This is why... Eh, I could lose some Diplo power. Not really that. Like, Diplo power is easily, easily able to make up. I don't know how much the other one is. So... Oh my goodness. Sweden! The seas of Northern Zealand is now over, so now the final assault onto the uh, Denmark side is about to begin. I'm combining the forces that will soon be... That will soon... Oh, and the middle end also finished. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a good assault then. Like just an all-out brawl. We're just going to destroy them. Let's see, is my general in here? Yes. Frederick Augustus... Wait, what's his name? Frederick August Leop Leopold 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 I don't know his name is Frederick though so he's gonna be leading this assault he's basically gonna be destroying the last of the Denmark army destroying any hopes they ever had about becoming a free oh wait you guys are still alive sorry um, I, was, I was hoping that'd be your last time okay now that was your last time let's go so now Hodenstein's the last province they have. And then we get 100% war score, which I'm probably going to take it to 100%. Because I've never actually seen what happens when you take it to 100%. Or I've never actually had an instance where we actually get 100% war score. So I'm going to see what happens. It's going to be kind of fun. Um, not going to siege it down, though. That would be pretty dang stupid. Like, seriously, pretty dang stupid. Um, just going to kind of wait here. Over here we have some piracy. Alright, you guys are almost ready to, you guys are basically ready to succeed, I know. I want to make sure, I want to see what happens when you guys are, well, let me see, what do I want from this? Let's figure out what I want, and then we can figure out if we really do need to get to 100%. So let's see, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. 56. Can't get any of this because I didn't actually conquer it myself. Um, I can't get any of that because I didn't conquer it myself. Um, um, annual treaties. Release nations of Hodenstein. could do that, but then I'd want to, hmm, ah oh, dang, I wish I could do that, <laughs> like Sweden, my vassal, you will cancel your military alliance with them, um, you will release Hodenstein, and then you'll give me as much money as you can, okay. That seems like a fair trade deal right there, because then they don't get Norway Day, Norway Day always in this. With that, I basically take a lot of Denmark and split them up a little bit. So 30 aggressive penalty, prestige, finally got that prestige, kind of getting the reconquest. So Sweden is now, ah, uh, yes, great war, um. Let me divide the mooks all into one army. Um, I'm going to do that next episode. But guys, thank you guys for watching. We have just done a near impossible event. We have just flat out destroyed Denmark. In fact, Denmark is only this sliver right here. By the way, are these guys my puppets? Do, do these guys get to be my puppets? claim from Bremen, but these, I'm, I'm serious, are these guys my puppets? Because I wouldn't mind using these guys for future skirmishes. Let's see, diplomacy, 
Independence guaranteed by Sweden. No, true Sweden. Oh, okay, so just an independent nation. They aren't actually a puppet of me. Well, that kind of stinks, but not too bad, not too bad. Because you know what? I'm proud of what happens, and you guys are getting really near to forming Holland, Muster. Hope you guys are the right culture, because all you need to do is just form, get this get this line right here, and then you basically form. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a fun episode. We took the rest of natural Sweden, everyone. We took the rest of natural Sweden, conquering the rest of this and this. I'm keeping the Danish culture because I don't need to convert that. Everything, because I'll eventually, once I form Scandinavia, I'll eventually have it. But I'm glad we finally got all of this. We are finally in the point where... We're finally at the point where we're starting to like gain the Scandinavia and create a proper fleet, the enemy of our enemy. Uh, we are getting very close. I mean, now we just need to... We just need to get Skalind, and we just need to get Austrias. Which means we just have to conquer the, a lot of um, Norway, or core a lot of Norway. Speaking of which, can we like start getting new like cores onto you guys? Yes, we can fabricate more claims. Yes. Oh yeah, we got more of that. Okay, let me get that. So anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.